Hello guys, welcome to this video. Now before we start, I just want to say that if you're interested in working with us and letting us do this keyword research for you and creating articles for you, there's a link in the description of this video to a Calendly, to a Calendly booking link. Feel free to click it, book with us today. There's no need, there's no expectation. It's just a friendly chat and you know we can either go forwards from there or we can just give you advice for your business. Now there's a very big common misconception with what the point of a blog is and also with keywords themselves. So let's just get into it. So we're gonna be looking at this example client right here. This is Dapper Fam. Now this is one of our longest running clients and we've just hit a new all time high in impressions uh, with them, which is an, an amazing result as far as we're concerned. So if I put this on 16 months, you'll see that this is, at the very least, it's a 16 month high, but I'm pretty sure this is an all time high, but it's very hard to say just because uh, Google Search Console will only show you up to 16 months. But from 12,000 impressions when we started working with them all the way up to 62,000, people always say it's clicks that matter, not impressions, that is true. Uh, so we're also, also at 16 month high, it looks like, with clicks as well. So really, really nice results, but let's talk about how we actually got these results. Okay, so there's a couple of things of notes here. So there's blogs, collections, and products, because this is a Shopify store. Although what we're talking about does relate to kind of any type of website. It's just, this happens to be a Shopify store. What we do is, and there's a really big misconception with this. We write blogs not to rank the blogs themselves. If we go back on here and add a filter for page and put blogs, you'll see that, yeah, there are quite a lot of impressions, but they are, it's a very low percentage of the actual um, overall traffic, basically. So you can see there are blog posts that are ranking, but this is not what the point of these actually is. So if I open this one here, essential hat styles for men in 2024, right? So we'll scroll down and I'll show you what the actual point of these blogs are. The point of these blogs are these links here. These are called internal links. I am internally linking from this page here to important pages, okay? So we have links to beanies, we have links to best-selling hats, Trilby, full collection of straw hats, now, normally there would also be a Fedora link. It looks like there isn't actually a link to Fedora here from what I can see, which is fine. There doesn't always have to be a link, but it would have been better if there was a link to Fedora. But, you know, as I said, that's totally fine. So we have all of these internal links here. We have collections hats, bestsellers, trilby hats, straw hats, etc., etc. Okay. So what we're actually doing is we are building topical authority. So this is something that is actually not that easy. Well, it is actually, it, it's very easy nowadays. It used to be quite difficult, but nowadays it's very, very easy. Now, the reason it's so easy nowadays is because of AI. You no longer have to spend long periods of time doing keyword research for individual clients. Instead, what you can do is you can build topical authority for those clients. And the point of a blog is not to rank the blog itself. It's to rank the other pages around it, okay? This is if you're an e-commerce website. So if I just go back on here and I do collections, you'll see that this is actually, I believe, the bulk and the, yeah, the majority of the impressions and clicks, which makes sense because you want people to be clicking on your website after searching for things like fedora hat, men's fedora hats, men's dress hats, fedora hats, fedora hat men, dress hats of men, Giovanni shoes, these are all what are known as buyer intent keywords, okay? So what we've basically done, if I put this back on 16 months so we can see, what we've basically done is we've built topical authority to these collection pages so that we can specifically grow these collection pages. Let's look at this growth. So we've gone from 52 clicks to 214 clicks on buyer intent keywords specifically. These are revenue driving keywords. These are the most important keywords. So let's talk about how we actually do this keyword research. So the first thing we do is we get, give me a business summary of the website Dapper Fam. So searching for Dapper Fam, it's creating a business summary. So Dapper Fam is a retail company specializing in high quality menswear, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So what we do is, 
if you want to take the guesswork out of this, you can just use Harbor for this. Um, Harbor's keyword tool will do all of this for you, but let's just talk about how you can do this for free. Um, now, I believe you can use GPTs for free now, so you should be able to use my topical authority generator completely for free. So I'm just gonna paste this here. So we're trying to create a topical authority map. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this not work, which is kind of weird. Here we go. So step one, pillar pages. These are the sub niches, and then we need the sub sub niches. So we'll press stop in and say, give me five sub pillar pages per pillar page. That's the first time I've seen this not just work immediately. It's kind of weird, but so now what this is doing is it's giving us actual blog post suggestions. So evolution of men, men's hats through history, the origins of men's formal shoes, iconic menswear accessories in the 20th century, why quality matters in menswear accessories, the economic value of investing in luxury, et cetera, et cetera. So these might not seem like strong blog posts necessarily. I will say right now, Harbor does do a much better job than this tool right here. This is what Harbor's tool is based on though, so um, just bear that in mind. But basically the idea here is now what we can do is Italian leather shoe craftsmanship, right? And then we write this article and then in this article we leave a lot of internal links to the relevant collections, right? So we have Italian shoes here, Italian shoes there. Um, we could do leather, shoes. So we, we start to build topical authority and then we pass that authority to our important pages, right? This is actually how we do keyword research for all of our clients. We actually use Harbor just because Harbor is slightly better than the topical authority generator. But if you're interested in doing it for free, please feel free to also use my um, topical authority generator, which I believe you can use completely for free these days. Um, I don't think you need to pay for premium anymore, although I'm not actually 100% sure about that. Okay, so this is now done. So this is just an example. So we'll just scroll through a few of these. So Shell Cordovan versus Calfskin, understand premium leather differences. I do like that article. Custom versus ready to wear, why bespoke shoes are worth it. This is also a really, really good article for them specifically. Custom shoe measurement guide, good. The, this so. This is good for a few reasons. Number one is it gives you lots of opportunities to internally link to other pages. But number two, how to measure for your shoes and things like that actually have a lot of searches behind them. Designer hat mystery box. I don't, they do mystery boxes. Oh, they are. That's so funny. I didn't even know that they were doing mystery boxes. It just takes Harbor to tell me, I guess. Eel skin dress shoes. Amazing. I know that they do do eel skin. Mystery box gift guide. Panam Panama hat care. Best premium wide brim fedoras for under $300. This is a perfect keyword. It gives you, you can link to loads of different collections and it will actually rank for itself on Google as well. So this is what I mean by Harbor being slightly better, but I'm not just trying to sell you on things. So you can just use the topical authority generator completely for free. But yeah, this is how we do the bulk of our research. You can see that it actually has an effect. It's not just bullshit, it, it does actually work. We've been powering our agency for a few years now using these techniques. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to know when to use Klein, when to use Windsurf, when to use Bolt and when to use Cursor.